Here's why Ahsoka Tano is beloved by fans and Rey is hated by everyone. Rey Skywalker. I thought my jokes were bad. First off, Ahsoka actually experiences growth throughout the Clone Wars. She starts off as an annoying brat that was actually really disliked by the Star Wars community when she first appeared, but she grows and matures through the Clone Wars, learning patience, discipline, and compassion. She learns the cruelty of the world, getting betrayed by the one thing she dedicated her life to, and losing everything she ever cared about. She has to make hard choices, which quite often result in her making mistakes. Basically, she's relatable, and the audience has a very easy time sympathizing with her. Now let's take a look at Rey. Rey, from the beginning of The Force Awakens to the end of The Rise of Skywalker, experiences no growth whatsoever. I know that the comments won't like that, but think about it. She grows in power and in strength, but that's not the same as real development. How is it interesting if you never lose a fight, know how to use the force right off the bat, have everyone around you like you instantly, can do anything the plot needs you to, and somehow just randomly use the force for whatever abilities would be useful in your current situation? That's not how the force works. It's really hard to relate to a character when they're all powerful, because then the audience feels like nothing bad can ever happen to them, so why should they care about the character? Here's a perfect example. It would have taken Ahsoka years to learn the patience and skills necessary to hit the subscribe button, but for Rey, she could have done it instantly. 